Today we're at the George Washington Carver Museum, which is a historic site in Austin. It actually represents the life and uh, work of Dr. Carver in science, and we're actually making sure that his legacy continues by teaching kids science through computer science. I think with VR, at least thinking about tech and the many things that are going on in, in the tech space now, it's about accessibility. The great thing about WebVR is that it's based entirely in the browser, so it's open software that everyone can access on practically any device. So everyone is like a means for us to get better in WebVR. You already knew how to code. I feel like if you didn't know how to code at all, and you saw A-frame. The fact that you make changes and you reflect immediately, you keep you going. I can't pick this up too. Looking at, okay, HTML, that's familiar. Now, let's add something else onto it and have that 3D space that VR creates. On the right side of the screen, wherever it is. So it's like you're making changes and then you see the effects immediately. Instead of other languages where you have to write it all and then try running it to check. Giving them this opportunity to learn A-frame allows them to really begin to see themselves as somebody who can converse with all these people in these great and wonderful and interesting jobs. I mean, and that then opens up that world to them. Frame was very helpful because a lot of us haven't worked on web VR before, including the professionals who are working with us. With Frame, they just reference it, check out how it's written there, and then it kind of assist us in developing what we want to do. To expand my, you know, my knowledge so I can make my own games or even create my own language. The great thing about getting students excited about making software in the browser is that they can take this anywhere. They can use it to make VR. They can use it in A-frame. They can also use it for normal web software, whether that's e-commerce or social media. The things that like their lives are you know, centered around in many ways these days. <laughs>